Hello players, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. Specifically, I want to talk about if you should summon this weekend and especially in the Asian summoning part. So, let's get started. So, as you can see in the event tab, there is uh, this special ancient summoning, but uh, starting on Friday we're gonna have a crazy invocation of spirits and a crazy divine summoning. So if you are early on into progression, or you have an early account, this should be a yes for sure, because Usually at the beginning you want to populate your account with as many legendaries as you can. So especially during the during these types of events where you are getting a double chance to get a legendary, that's going to be useful. But as you can see here, the interesting part of today's uh, or this week's weekend is going to be the special ancient summoning because it's going to feature Toridor. So, I'm going to focus on Toridor most, uh, mostly, but uh, there's also going to be a Giselle. So, before talking about Giselle, uh, I want to talk about Toridor because I feel like this is going to be the main hero that we're going to want. Why? Because he is a Nightmare Lord and is a great one nonetheless. So, Nightmare Faction. Let's start with that. Nightmare Faction is one of the most um, approachable factions in the game and one of the best factions in the game. Because if we go into the gallery over here and we check the heroes, we know that we get an epic lord for free, right? If you keep logging in, eventually you're going to get uh, Mr. Wrath over here. That's not only going to be free, but also one of the best epics in the game. He alone is a legendary in disguise and at uh, awakening level 5 he's going to have an amazing increase in power. Uh, but without it, either way, he's going to be very 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 strong and improve your account, especially early game. And it's going to push you to provide the extra push from the mid game to the late game. So let's check his Lord bonus. Uh, the Nightmare Lord bonus provided by Roth is actually Nightmare Power 2. So what does that do? Increases faction allies basic attributes by 10% every time a faction ally is deployed. All deployed faction allies gain 5%, 10%, 20% and 35% attack speed respectively up to 35%, but the healing effect received by them are reduced by 20%. So, um, all in all, what's happening, every time, as long as you, you have uh, Rod as, um, as a Lord in your lineup, every time you're going to summon a Nightmare hero, uh, so a hero from the Nightmare faction, um, they are going to get all of them, like all the heroes on the field, are going to get an increase in attack speed every time a night, another nightmare uh, hero is going to be summoned. So basically, you would always, also, you will always want to have at least four nightmare um, heroes on the field to take full benefit of this, uh, of this um, passive. So. This is a pretty one, a pretty cool one, right? Because the only trade-off is that the, the received healing is going to be reduced by 20%. But uh, if we go back to Toridor, this gets a little bit interesting and I'm gonna show you why. So, Nightmare Power level 3 increases faction allies basic attributes by 50%. Every time a faction ally is deployed, blah blah blah, it's the same thing, I'm not gonna go through it, okay? However, their received healing effects are reduced by 15%, so a drop in fi by 5%, right, from 20% to 15%. Um, and the coolest side of this passive, Faction Allies basic attack has a 30% chance of landing an extra hit. So that's amazing, especially combined with the other Nightmare Hero legendaries or, um, or Nightmare... Uh, epics because uh, nightmare heroes in general because they are going to have a lot of attack speed already from the bonus and uh, that's going to be also provided with another chance of landing another attack uh, like that's insane especially for heroes like arrogance for example that when he attacks he actually has a chance to imbue enemies with fire 
that's going to help Lust again and then Lust the same, she attacks 4 times in succession very quickly and that's going to create 4 chances of her to attack uh, another time each time she attacks actually so that's going to be amazing uh, amazing for each each uh, legendary hero valeria abomination any hero that's dps is going to benefit from this so um, this is why everyone that doesn't have toridor should go for toridor because he is that strong he's going to improve your guild boss he's going to improve your void drift he's going to improve any single part of content where you're using nightmare heroes so that's actually a must i was pretty lucky to get toridor um quite early on i didn't uh, necessarily catch up with his uh, actual strength when i got him but i was happy nonetheless but it helped me a lot especially in killed boss and now that i also have a lot of other legendary nightmare faction heroes it's helped me it helped me a lot to push content so another cool thing about the uh, two cool thing and another reason that you would want to redor in your lineups is because the nightmare faction uh, is actually the most approachable faction of all why is that well first of all i mentioned wrath that you're getting for free right but you are also able to get for free i mean if you are fusing him Abomination, so you can actually get a free another free hero from the Nightmare faction that's actually a legendary and it's not a bad one, it's actually quite a decent one. Um, so Abomination is going to be quite good and he also let, has a lot of synergy with attack speed and attacks in general. Besides that, you, if you are finishing the story, you get another Nightmare legendary for free, which is Volca, and Volca is going to be one of the most important heroes in your account because of her passive. So in case you don't know, if you use uh, Volca in your lineup, you don't have to actually place her down. Uh, just by just by having her in your team, it's going to reduce the amount of time that uh, it takes a hero to be resurrected or you or a hero to be placed down again. So that helps in gear rate too. That helps in uh, a lot of other content. Volca is amazing just for that passive, and it's required for gear rate two, for example so you can already see that uh, this this is very 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 good and it's going to help a lot of you guys so i definitely think that you should try to get toridor if you don't uh, have him i already have him i won't be pulling this uh, this week uh, i didn't necessarily dive too much into giselle's kit uh, from what i've seen she is quite underwhelming uh, she's supposed to be a fighter with a multi-strike type of synergy but uh, like I don't know man I wasn't necessarily impressed by her or what I've seen the gist of it is that if you have Toridor you can skip this one if you don't have Toridor I definitely would pull uh, if you don't want to save Ancients, like I do, uh, you can also pull even if you have Toridor. Why? Because his Awakenings are very good. So Toridor, another area of the game where he excels, and if that's uh, if that's your thing, is going to be Guild War. So in Guild War, a lot of people are using Toridor for uh, his area of uh, his area control, his stomps, basically, and. Um, most of his awakenings are going to improve that so um atrocious uh, trample atrocious trample range plus 20 percent so he's not going to stun just in the typical area around him he's also going to stun even further up so that's going to be good in awakening one awakening two faction allies attack speed plus 20 percent so that's insane and you also get plus 300 attack on top of that so that's going to be a bonus, not only for uh, Doridor himself, but also for every single faction ally that you have. So he's, uh, this one is actually quite good, it's quite amazing, the Awaken too. So this is what uh, one of the Awakenings that I think more, many people would want to go for. Awaken 3 is quite good as well, during the effect of Hellfire Burning, increases the chance to trigger Atrocious Trample by 10%. That's insane, insanely good in Guild War as well, because you in Guild War you want 
uh, to be um, controlling and stunning and uh, um, stalling uh, the monsters that are attacking you as much as possible. So that's going to be a lot of help in uh, in Guild War. Awakened 4. This is the weakest awakenings I would say uh, in his entire kit, but it's still useful because the more he can reach his ultimate, the more area uh, of effect controlling he's going to be able to dish out. But this leads to the Awakening 5, which is the insane one. Because in case you don't know, um, Toridor actually has some type of passive similar to the one that Abomination has. Uh, like if you don't know abomination if he receives fatal damage or if he drops down be uh, below a certain percentage of health he actually becomes immune and he's regenerating i think uh, half of his hp or 75 percent i can't remember specifically but it's something around that somewhere around those lines um and toridor if he receives fatal damage he enters an invulnerable state he still blocks and he still and he recovers full almost full hp um, after a short delay and that's very very amazing because as i told you before in a lot of content but especially in guild war you would want uh, your defenders to stall your mo the monsters as much as possible so the your so your dps can dish out the required damage to pass the stage or defend your garrison um, and this awaken 5 actually allows you to use that passive one more time so basically that makes Toridor not have only two lives but actually three lives which is insane one of the best passives in the game like as you can see it's not almost it's not almost he doesn't restore almost his entire hp he actually restores 100 percent of, of his hp and also his rage so that's going to be also an alt reset so you can already imagine how powerful that is but uh, if you are a free to play account or close to free to play a very low spender like i am i definitely wouldn't recommend to go for him if you already have him don't go for his awakenings because there's going to be quite a very nice uh, ancient summoning event in the future featuring Valderon, which is going to be a new chaotic lord so in case you didn't see Valderon, Valderon is going to be an insane hero he's going to be a fighter that uh, is going to have an alt mechanic similar to uh, this guy over here i forgot his name from the chaotic dominion faction um uh, uridin so uridin can actually gather uh, the energy requirements for his ult twice and if you have uh, it twice you, you actually get some benefits to his ult and same with valderon that's going to be a chaotic lord and some people have done some testing on on the test server in kill boss especially and he has been dishing out like not hundreds of thousands but millions of damage and that's going to be insane if he stays this way it's going to be a insane 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 like almost prayers level if not prayers level and <laughs> i think it's still dangerous to dish out heroes like that but uh Especially with the latest uh, drama that Munton had to deal with, with Boreas, um, things are starting to be to require a little bit more attention before uh, releasing a hero onto the global server. But uh, I don't think they will ever want to nerf some uh, some uh, lords, especially lords that are even rarer, like chaotic lords or arbiter lords so um yeah uh if you want you can still save for valderon um if you don't have uh, toridor i don't blame you for trying to get him if you have toridor and you know you'll have enough for valderon you can still pull f push for uh, for awakenings and if you are a free to play player i wouldn't recommend pool unless you you don't have him if you are an early account i would actually advise to summon both on the ancient banner and 
on the um, crazy divine or is it crazy divine yeah is it crazy divine summoning and crazy invocation of spirits so i hope this video was helpful i hope uh, it would actually make it easier for you to decide and um, let me know if you actually try to pull for these guys uh, let me know if you get Toridor or Giselle or whatever yeah Giselle um, if you get Giselle let me know how it fares you your account and how much it helped you because I literally that's why I didn't say too much about her because all I know is from the videos videos I watched so I don't want to be a hypocrite and give out information that I'm not certain about uh, but she still seems underwhelming I might be wrong though so if you get her let me know uh, reach out in one of my videos uh, don't forget to comment to like to subscribe I respond to every single comment that I see um, thank you for watching this has been Andy Event Horizon Gaming I wish you an amazing day see you guys